Hey guys, while making my last video, I actually thought of uh, ways of refining the method of cutting holes uh, in your sculpt. So let's uh, get into it. So I wanted to try the stock alphas, and I thought maybe if I turn up the intensity of the alpha, it might actually push through and it should be a cleaner uh, hole. So let me start with this cone. Also, if you use trim and you use the rectangle tool, it's a lot easier to get a straight line than using a line tool. So let's do that. Cut off the top of the cone. Then let's subdivide it a few times to get some more detail in the geometry. And then we're gonna select the stock alpha of the square. We will snap view to make sure it's centered. Turn up the intensity of the alpha and push it through. Now we're going to snap view to the side and again use the rectangle trim tool instead of the line. There we go. Same as the last video, you can still see there's a layer there, so we're going to turn up the remesh, but this time just a little bit. I find that it actually makes a cleaner result if you don't turn it all the way up. And from there, we can also uh, smooth the edges. So that's, see, it's a lot simpler than the last method, and I think the results are better as well, so... Hopefully you guys get something out of this. Um, I will also show you with the circle. There it is smooth. To me that looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and undo all this. Snap view again. And this time let's uh, select the circle alpha after I, no I don't want to subdivide that much. All right, the stock circle alpha. And that didn't work. All right, now you see it pushed through and it's not really as angled as with the alphas that I created. Again, use a trim rectangle and we're going to turn the remesh up a little bit and remesh it. And from here we can go ahead and smooth it. Yeah, so that's a, it's a lot easier this way and it looks a lot better. So hopefully this helps someone. Again, if you guys have tips for me, different methods, uh, I'm happy to hear them. All right, have a good day.